Alright, this is our project for ECE 362. It's our take on the game of Pong, so it, it produces a Pong-like game. Uh, what you're seeing right now is Conway's game of life being drawn on the screen with a little repeating pattern I put in there, initialize it. Basically that acts as a screen saver to make sure when you turn on the console you don't automatically jump into the game of Pong and it doesn't just draw a black screen so you think the thing's broken. So, as you can see right now it's waiting for us to press start. But what we're going to do first is we're going to reset the console by setting the controllers flat and then hitting the reset button. It'll then initialize the controller to know what flat is. Uh, this is an accelerometer based controller. So uh, it initializes flat so that later when we're playing the game we can have a calibration of what up and down is. So right now it's waiting for us to press the start button on the controller. So when we press the start button, the go light turns green and four seconds later the game starts. We do that so that the go light can let the other controller know or the other player know that the other person has initialized the game so it doesn't kind of like screw him by them just jumping into it. So we have the game count down because I saved the top score and if the person wins with nine every time the top score is kind of pointless. So it waits for someone to get to zero and then the game is over. Alright, so I just lost. Uh, as you can see that is the game just played. So he won by one point. So the score at the end of the game was zero one. And this is the best game ever played. So this is a game where uh, player one one without losing a single point, so 9-0. Uh, if we press the reset button on the controller, it takes you back to Conway's game of life. It does not make you reinitialize the controller. Uh, we did that on purpose so that you didn't have to annoyingly set it on the table every time you reset a game. And presumably if the console is still on, the initializations are still bad. So if we press the start button again, the go light once again turns on. Four seconds later, you jump into the game. And one other feature we wanted to incorporate into this was pause. So if you hit the start button, the go light turns off for both of them, and the game pauses. And then if you hit the start button again, the go light turns on, and the game resumes. We're generating noise using pulse wave modulation, and uh, the TV screen is a 40 by 40 pixel array drawn using NTSC, uh, the North American Broadcasting TV standard. Uh, it's 40 by 40 pixel array just because the microcontroller we use, the 9S12, only has 2K of RAM. So that's our project for EC362. Thank you.